Any guesses? It's not no scrubs, no. It's not Star Wars. Come on, guys. Jingle bells. Are you joking? A day in the life. Are you having a laugh? Mickey by Tony Basil. Are you crazy? Listen. So good. It's not anything. No one's got it right. No one's anywhere near. Listen to this bit. I'll do it again. That is so good. Uh, you're all in the wrong century. I'll tell you that for starters. Bohemian Rhapsody, no. Orin Acre Flow, Seven Nation Army, no. Firestarter, no. Ian Q and the Q's, very funny. But no, this is not a place for jokes. Name that tune. It's not Yellow by Coldplay. One more chance. You're way off at the moment. Dragon Force through the fire and flames. I don't know what that is, so it can't be that. All right, this is this is the famous bit. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to let it go because we don't want to miss the 803 football scores. Welcome anyway to me one versus me two snooker. Uh, continuing, it's not happy birthday. Right, you're obviously not going to get it. Let's see if I sing along whether it's a bit easier. I don't know the words in German. It goes from like... We're trapped for silly birds to set over... And after them I mean to go. I'd gladly fly the filer's trade if I could catch a pretty maid. It's... um from uh, the Magic Flute by Mozart. I thought you'd get it, but, you know, bad luck. You could have won an exclusive Can I Have My Ball Back squeezy ball if you'd been a bit more knowledgeable about music. But, oh, no, you only know about about pop music, don't you? So there you go. And I played the flute part belief. God, it even sounds like a flute. The, the, the queue's well chalked. I'm well chalked. Welcome to um, another frame of Me 1 versus Me 2 snooker. We haven't been here for a little while, have we? Um, last one might have been last year, was it? What's going on? I haven't been feeling all that well, but that's, there's still no excuse for that, is there? And I've been busy. This is frame 178. Um, uh, I should say uh, that uh, Alexander Papadopoulos... His family got in touch to say they felt I was taking the mickey out of his surname uh, and they didn't want uh, to be named after them anymore. So the from now on, the arena is going to be named after someone who I think would have liked uh, self-played snooker if he knew about it. He was a sportsman. Uh, his part of his name is one of the things in a snooker board. It's Martin Hole, of course. Sorry, didn't let me break it to you. Fame, my famous, my favourite Norwegian Olympic cross-country skier. Sadly passed away due to cancer at the age of 64, which is getting a bit close, isn't it? To suddenly, that's a bit young. All of a sudden, he's born in 1959. That's a bit, he's nearly born in the 1960s. So that's a bit scary. But, you know, he had a good run in the old um, Olympic Games. He got he came, finished 31st in the 30 kilometer in 1988, 14th in the 15 kilometer in 1985, 11th in the 50 kilometers in 1987. Uh, he's, he was the 45th best skier in 1983. He got up to 10th in 1986, so you know not bad. And he came third place in the 1985 to 86 Fallon Sweden 30 kilometer individual World Cup. That's a bronze medal. Uh, also third in the World Cup. Four times ten kilometer relay. Mikkel Pass, Ulul van Lanli were his teammates, and second place silver medal. Never won a gold, but you know, if, if part of it, his name will be forever 
I've got frame 178, Andy McH. Frame 177 was the 19th of the 12th. It's frame 178. You fucking idiot. Get with the program, dude. Um, so, yeah, Martin Hole, now in a hole, that is what um, Phil's and Belly Ache says, which I think is a bit uh, offensive. And that's the kind of thing that means families get in touch and say they don't want to have the arena named after them. Sorry, it's an 8.05. I've come to the scores a bit late because of the the ignoramuses, ignorami, who uh, watch this podcast. Could have won a, one of these exclusive balls. Maybe next next week you'll be a rollover two balls next week. Uh, Premier League, Manchester City, currently uh, second place in the probably second or third, something like that, in the Premiership. Nil, Brentford nil. Brentford, where I used to work at Faros Marine, the uh, lighthouse manufacturing parts company. I've got this chalk all over me. Um, nil, they've all got so got nil. In the Champions League, uh, I don't know why this is second, it should be the National League next. Uh, Inter Milan nil, Atletico Madrid nil. They're in Tamalan, the nil. Atletico Madrid, the nil. Pietro, Eindhoven, nil. Borontian, Dortmund, nil. In the Championship, Cardiff City, nil. Blackburn, and we'll do this in English because it's the English League, regardless if, they're, if you're from Cardiff, sorry. Blackburn, nil. Um, Ipswich Town, two. Rather than one. There's a lot of goals going in there. It was 1 1 when I last looked. Now Ipswich have put another old ball in the old goal net. And that is 2-1. Plymouth Argyle, nil. West Bromwich, Ambulian, nil. Uh, yeah, Ambulian. Uh, Southampton, nil. Hull City, one. The Hull, where I'm playing uh, on Rahalastabha on the 28th of March, I believe. Still some tickets for that one. There was a lot of tickets last week. Uh, there aren't so many now because Bob Mortimer and Tommy Cannon will be joining me. It's been remarked that it will be Cannon and one ball. Or Cannon and Ball will be back together, etc. Or we've both lost a ball in the last during lockdown. Yes, yes, very funny. Won't do that one to his face because I think he might cry. Uh, Southampton nil, Hull City one. Uh, so well done to Hull City. Do come and see that. It's worth a trip to Hull to see that. Bob Mortimer's podcast will not be broadcast. That is his one stipulation for coming all that way from Tunbridge Wells. Thank you very much to Bob Mortimer for helping to make my tour profitable. <laughs> Um, out of the goodness of his heart League 1, Cambridge United 1 Bolton Wanderers 0, Oxford United 1 it's good to, It's good for the old university town so far, 1, Northampton Town 0 Reading 0, Port Vale 0 in League 2, AFC Wimbledon 0 Crawley Town 0, Gillingham 0, Stockport 0 Milton Keynes Dons 0 that's a team of entirely people called Don from Milton Keynes, you'd think they would be doing worse than they are, but they're doing okay, they're in League 2 and they're 0-0 against Wrexham who are on the telly Walsall 1, Morecambe 0 in the EFL Trophy, we're all excited about that Blackpool nil Peterborough United nil it's the big one National League the big league the big division where everything counts uh, AFC filed they were doing so badly and now and they're playing Solly Holm Moors who are like right near the top and they're 2-0 up after 18 minutes they've won about four of their last five games they were definitely going to get relegated and now they might get into the promotion zone I'm absolutely furious Oldershot down nil because York is shit Barnet nil that was one of my save that was going to save us Bromley nil, Dagen Redbridge nil, Ebbsfleet one off. They're doing, but they're doing well as well. Woking nil. I mean, they're both low down. FCE Hamilton, uh, Halifax, Hamilton, Halifax Town P, Chesterfield P, Chesterfield flying high, but only can score P today. Uh, Northampton nil. Sorry, Hartlepool United nil, Altrincham nil, Kidderminster Harriers nil, Gateshead nil. I think we need Kidderminster to lose. Maidenhead nil, Southend one. I think they're both doing. They're both. Near us, Oxford City, who are shit, nil, East, Eastleigh three after 10 minutes. I mean, fuck me. Rochdale, who are doing badly, have been started well. P, Boreham Wood P, Wealdstone P, Dorking Wanderers P, could do both those teams losing that match. And the big one, York City, are playing against Oldham. I'll see if there's any updates on, um, on the old uh, Twitter account. It's still nil nil. Uh, George Sykes Kenworthy has to be alert to the swing of the Oldham corner to punch away as it diverts towards goal. Uh, Batty has struck just over. Um, it's very exciting. Oldham are a pretty good team, so I'm not holding out much hope of York City getting much out of this game. But if we can get a point, that'll be something. FA Trophy, Bishop Stortford, nil. Colville Town, nil. Wealdstone won, Hendon, nil. Ah, that's why Wealdstone aren't playing. 
they've been postponed because they're in the FA Trophy and they're winning. Uh, the National League North. Alpha Spalfa Spalfa Taus. Alpha Falfa Sprouts Town 1. Bambury United 0. Boston United 0. Darlington 0. Sorry these results coming so late to you. Bratley Town 0. Kings Lynn Town. It's almost meaningless now to have them at this point. Uh, 10 minutes in. 0. Buxton. Adam Buxton's team 1. Made entirely of Adam Buxton. Gloucester City 0. Chorley 1. Tamworth 0. I also playing Chorley on my... What can I have my ball back to? Curzon Ashton 1. Peterborough Sports 0. Farsley Celtic 0. Blythe Spartans 0. Hereford 0. Chester 1. Uh, Russell Olympic B. P. Bishop Stortford P. So to both P there. There were no Bs. Scarborough Athletic 0. Southport 0. South Shields 0. Scunthorpe 0. Spennymore Town are wandered up against Warrington Town. In the National League South. Bath City 0. Truro City 0. Braintree Town 0. Tombridge Angels, who are all dead 0. Tupper Tupper Athletic 0. St Albans City 0. Eastbourne Borough 0. Haven't and Waterville 1. Farnborough 0. Torquay United 0. They shouldn't be in the National League South. That's a disgrace. Hemel Hempstead 0, Chelmsford Town 1, Slough Town 2, Dartford 1, Taunton Town P, Chippenham Town P, Welling United 0, Worthing 0, Weymouth 0, Hampton Richmond 1, Yeovil Town 1, Western Supermare, where the Bristol, we can go and waddle, waddle, go in the Bristol Channel and be a foot high in mud 0, uh, Scottish League 1, Falcon 2, Montrose 0, Scottish League 2, Clyde 0, Warfare Athletic 0, Peterhead nil. It's just a bloke called Peterhead. Bonnie Rig Rose, the most Scottish name thing in the world, nil. Uh, over to the Irish Bugger, the Irish Premiership. I'm playing Dublin on the 3rd of March, I think. Still some tickets left, Bugger. Clif- Cliftonville nil, Linfield nil. Uh, Copa Libertadores, uh, Portuguese Venezuela 22, Palestino nil. Uh, the Australian A League, fair income. That is a result, so I won't be giving you that. That's the match over between Melbourne Victory and Western United. So watch out for that one. Uh, that's all the football scores. I'm meant to be spending some time with my daughters. I don't know why I spent so long doing this. Look, uh, to recap on what's been going on, it's frame 178. Andy McH didn't realise. I was hopefully given him time to change his graphic. Um, in the last frame, me too, uh, broke, uh, but lost, but won, sorry, 63 20. Me one has been hammering through, hasn't he? Coming in, winning everything. It's now 84 83 to me one. So, uh, or was it me two's caught up with me one? I can't remember. Yeah, I think Me Too was way ahead and now Me One's way ahead, isn't it? It was crazy. So, uh, who knows? I can't remember. Let's talk to the players. Um, in honour of Martin Hole, uh, let's talk to the players. Here's uh, Me One. How are you feeling about uh, 2024? I think this is my year, Rich. Um, certainly, last year was my year. This year is also going to be my year and next year as well, I think, will be my year. Uh, presuming we all live long enough to have the next year. I mean, I'm only going one week at a time now. Yeah, fair enough. I think that is sensible, given our basic health. Uh, and uh, any anything you'd like to support? Are we going to make this Israel, Palestine or anything? I don't think that would be appropriate, Rich. No, I think you're right. Good. Uh, Me Too's just sitting down. He's wearing his trademark, uh, slightly too small, Paul Smith, slightly stained T-shirt sitting down. Hi there, Richard. Yeah. I'm just looking forward to getting back on the old snook on the green board, uh, potting the balls in the martin holes, and uh, popping the bobby ball in the martin holes. And uh, then Stan Boardman, is he still alive? Yeah, it was a nice thought. It was a nice way of playing tribute to lots of different people. Um, let's get on with it because I want to just get back and watch what's going on in the football. Uh, let me know if Oldham score. I mean, York won't, definitely. Let's just have a quick look. Uh, let's get over. Have we got anything else we've got to do? Do we want? Uh, let's not do a prediction. That's that's so 2023. It spoils it as well because the predictions are usually spot on. Just want to see what's going on with the old. Uh, see if anyone scored in the game. The important match today. York could very easily go down. Um, it's one all be the, between the Dons and Wrexham now. So there we go. Uh, over to commentator one, commentator two in the. Um, Martin Hole around. Uh, Richard, it's lovely to be here. Lovely to hear a bit of uh, Deflator Mouser. 
right? Uh, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Of course, Wolfgang means love God. Love Amadeus means God loves. Um, and uh, there's the old green board as seen from above. That is the view that a fly on the ceiling would get if it was there, but it isn't. And uh, it's going to be me one to break today, Rich. So let's see uh, what the scores will be. Should point out that both me one and me two are going commando tonight wearing some new jogging bottoms that do fall down quite easily. And uh, me one has uh, gone in off straight from the hockey. Me two, calculating, calculating, me one, zero, me two, calculating, four, me two. Gets a chance now. I should say both players were playing pool last night against uh, their wives. Oh, that jingled and jangled in the pocket, but didn't go down. Jingled and jangled. Oh, can't think of any positive news stories to talk about. Me one. He's pulled back some of the deficit, coming down the board, getting on the brown very nicely. But will he get back on a red after this? I don't know. Oh, it's quite nicely done there from me one. He saw an opening. He's back in the lead. Whatever happens here, I don't think he can pot any of these reds. He's looking at this red at the top, but I think he can't hit it full on without hitting the other red. I was very right. He should listen to me. Calculating, calculating, meet one, five. Me two, calculating, zero. Highest break of 2024 so far goes to me one. Me two. There's an easy red to the top, but I think me two's thinking of trying to beat that highest break. He's potted the red. Beautiful pot. Can he get this pink? It was fairly straightforward, but he's messed it up. He's equalised. Five all, but... Uh, Sadly, thinking about position, he set up me one, who fails to score for an easy opportunity. Me two. Smarting from not having the highest break. He misses another fairly pedestrian red. Me one. I don't think he can get that one. He's going for this one. Oh, he's put too much on it. Me two has an easy red. He does it, puts a bit of backspin. Nicely done. I don't know what he can do. He's going to try and pop the blue into the middle. Nowhere near. I mean, that's the worst shot I've seen for a while, but me too. Takes the lead. He's 6-5 ahead. I don't need robot voice for that. Me one. He tries too hard to hit a, bar, a ball too far back. Me too. Oh! There he goes in off. Me one. Can he get this all the way down the board? He can, but not into a pocket. Not into a Martin hole. Me too. That's what I'm talking about. That's how you play snooker. No, he's not really on anything here. Unless he can knock this pink back. Tries, fails, but me too. Racking up a nice score, one point at a time. Calculating, calculating, me one, five, me two, seven. Me one, did he touch the red with his finger there? He got away with it if he did. Me too. Beautiful pot, double pot from me too. Scores two points with one shot, and if he can bet this pink, he's got the highest bake of 2024. It's difficult, he's got to go a long way back. And he hasn't done it, but he's got two, and he's steaming into an unassailable lead now, I would say. Me one has an awful lot to do to get back into this match. And that's not going to do it, is it? Hitting balls like that and not getting them in. Me too. Can we see his arse crack? Maybe we can. He's potted. One red. Can he get this pink? Oh, he's messed it up again. Again, a single point for me too. Calculating, calculating. Me one, five. Me two, ten. Me one. Just that five break. Oh, doesn't even look down the table for that one, me one. And surely he's not going to get this pink. He's going to try and double it, I think. Oh, very badly. Me one. Just edging his way back into this low scoring frame. Me too. He's trying to double it. Oh, is he trying to get behind? Oh, I think he was trying to get behind the colours. He can't read this guy. Me one. Oh, me one's gone in off. Oh, and he's left a very easy red. This could be the end for me one. And this could be the end of me one's ascendancy. Is this the year of me two? The Chinese year of me two? Let's find out. There's one point for me one. So me two. They're so easy to mistake for each other. And me too has equaled the highest break of 2024. Can he surpass it now? It would take something. 
and he doesn't have that thing, but calculating, calculating, me one, six, me two, calculating, 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 19, me one. Again, not even going down to look at the shot, just praying to some kind of God. Me too does go down, have a little look, but still misses. So like it makes no difference. There's a moth on the table there, dead moth on the table. <laughs> Me one, going in the bin. Me one, that's a good sign, isn't it? When there's moths on the table. Me one, he is looking at this one. He wants to get it, but he's cut it much too finely. Is he gonna go in off? He has, me one, and makes another mistake and he's back to his reputation as the in-off king. Me too. He's eyeing up the first win of 2024 now. Can he clear from here? Oh, it jingles and jangles in the pocket. How unlucky can he get? Me one. Don't know what he's really planning there. It hasn't worked out for him. Me too. Can he get it now? Oh, it hits the post and bounces out. Me one. Oh, he's not hitting form. He's had the equal highest break of the year, but that's it. Me too. Me too. Surely now he's about to surpass the highest break. Beautiful pot. He's just nudged the blue and he's coming back for the yellow. He's got a break of six to add to his amazing break of five. But can he make it a break of eight? No, he can't. But he's just cruising for a bruising here. I think he's up to 30, playing six. But remember, 29 plays six, says uh, Andy McH, and I'll bow to him on that one. Me one. He knows, me one, that the colors are all that matter. You can do what you like for the first half of the game. Now it's where it counts, but he still doesn't get the yellow. Although, beautiful snooker from the old Meester, as he's sometimes called. Oh, but me too, not only gets out of it, almost so close to potting that yellow. And uh, it's not quite a touching ball, but I don't think me one can do much apart from hope to get a snooker down. He can't pot it. But if anyone can hit this... Can me too get to the middle of those balls? I don't think he can. This is actually a brilliant shot. Me too is gonna try to go through the middle. And foolishly, as it turns out, gives away seven points. Uh, that could be the thing that turns this frame, but the, I don't think the yellow's gonna go down again. Unless me too, me one is gonna try something very dodgy. Oh, he's missed himself. It was worth a try. I think it's now 33 place 13 and me too with a definite. That's a beautiful pot of the yellow. Has he snookered himself? No. Oh, that's what I call music. That's what I call music. Can you get this one in the same way? That was a beautiful pot of the green if you're listening. No, he's gone too sharp on that, but five points to me too. It's now 38 plays 13. Me one requires some snookers. Oh, and he's accidentally, he didn't even mean to do that. He's potted the brown. And has he snookered himself? Not quite. Oh, but that's no good. Me one, just when he didn't want to pot something, he's 21 points behind. There's 18 on the table. You just need one snooker. Me two. Oh, and here he goes in off. Me one, again, not trying to pot it. Trying to get a snooker. Has he got a snook behind the black? Nowhere near. Me too. Oh, he's missed it. He's hit the black. It's a disaster for me too. Oh no. The pressure got to him. 24 plays 38. And now me one just needs to step in and win this thing for reals. Me too. That was a hard one. He was the camera was pressing against him. Coxix, me one. Carl, oh, surely not. Uh, not playing like that. Me two. Me two pots the blue. He must feel some relief at that. Me two. He deserves this. He's not got it though. Is he going to go in off? Yes. Shit. What a fucking idiot. Me two gets five. It was uh, pretty much. Here's again, 
He was 19 points ahead, but he gave away six, I guess. So it's 30, plays 43. Me one, could equalize here. Me two needs just to pop one of these balls. Oh, and that jumped in the pocket, came out of the pocket, set up the black perfectly. Me one cannot believe his luck. Slightly bad placement on the black. And he's messed it up. Me one. He's on 36. Me two is on 43. Seven points ahead. Seven points on the board. Me one. Me two, I mean, sorry. Sorry, I keep getting messed up. Me two nearly goes in off. Me one. It's a black ball finish. And me one may have it here. He hasn't. Or has he? He has. He's doubled it. It's the most extraordinary comeback since, I don't know what, since a very extraordinary comeback. It's 43 all. It's another drawn frame. And me too. Through, that has to be said. Playing commando today. Through a definite win. Into the fucking dustbin. Through playing like a shithouse cunt. It is 84-83 still. Because the score today. 43 points to me one. 43 points to me too. The comeback of the century maybe of this millennium so far. Let's go back to Richard Herring in the studio. I'm sure he's just been watching the York City game. What have you got to say? Well, no, I wasn't. I was, I was very involved in watching that and what a frame it was. Um, I think Me Too deserved it, but Me One somehow crawled his way out from definite defeat to a, a, a noble draw. Um, we don't have a penalty shootout because we're playing best of infinity frames. There's no point in having a shootout. It's a drawn frame. That's the rules of self-playing snooker. You can play the rules of two-player snooker if you want, but then just fuck off and watch that. Okay? Ian Amazon. Um, final score PP, says the Fuzzy Dunlop, I suppose, in a way. In a way it was. Uh, let's talk, first of all, to me, one. I want to see what he has to say about that. How are you feeling? Richard, um, people wrote me off in that frame. They said it was all over. There were people on the pitch and I said, well, get those people off the pitch because I'm going to come back and equalise and uh, it will be at the same score and I'll still be ahead. So I'm looking forward to coming back next time and thrashing the pants off that little monkey faced me too. I mean, he has the same face as you, so that's you know not really an insult. Me too. It feels like... Uh, um, a victory thrown into the bin rather than a draw attained. Yeah, it's exactly that. I feel like a chump. A bloody chump. Excuse my language. Um, I know there are kids watching in the hospital who are very upset about that. I, you know, I, I got it. I threw it away. I got it again. Then I threw it away again. And I can't uh, understand um, what happened. I'll go away. I will assess this with my team I will look at this footage endlessly and I will make sure nothing like this ever happens again well strong words there from me too clearly fighting back the tears not only for the lost match but for the loss of Martin Hole who I know was one of me too's favorite Norwegian skiers top 10 favorites uh, and it's always sad when that uh, when that goes so um that's not a ghost behind me. That's the uh, Champion of Champions trophy from Taskmaster. So, you know, what can I say? Um, let's see what happens. I don't know if we're back next week. I might be working next week on Tuesday. I think I am. Um, there's a few gigs coming up. So, uh, you know, we'll do this when we can do it. The bin is closed. I opened it and then I closed it. Put some rubbish in it and closed it. Um... And uh, probably Twitch are fun this week. Yeah, video fun probably. And don't forget to come and see Rahul Spawn Tour. Lots of the shows selling out. Lots of them selling really well. Bedford, I'd love to see in Bedford for Al Murray and Olaf Falafel. It's going to be a lot of fun. Rejigged to the 21st of March. Um, there's still tickets for Warwick Arts Centre. There's still tickets for Leicester Comedy Festival on Sunday. Unbelievably, Simon Munnery and Phil Ellis. That's going to be amazing. So come along to that if you can get to Leicester. Support Rahalist, but if the ones you come to, I will come back to. Not Hull, though, because you're only coming because Bob Morton was on, so you can do one. Um, 
I am coming to Glasgow. Yeah, thank you very much, Fotheringham314. But it's sold out. You might get tickets uh, if uh, any were released. But I don't think there will be. Uh, I don't know if I'm coming back to Glasgow for my, can I have my ball back? I can't remember. I think I might be. Anyway, for me and all the me's, me, 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 and see you next time on Can I Have My Ball Back um, Snooker.